everyone, welcome back to the Electric Supercar Channel. So this week we're gonna use some of that advice that uh, Weber Auto gave us, John, and see if we can't fix our high voltage problems. Let's get to it. Okay, we've got the new meter here and uh, going through and I'll, I'll kind of just do, I guess some, some areas at a time. Um, I first started with the front battery pack and we're getting both positive and negative um, for the high voltage, we're getting about 0.5 million ohms. So in talking with uh, John at Weber Auto, um, again, like production cars are more like 100 million ohms. Um, he was expecting this one to be more like 5 million or above, you know, maybe 10 million or something. So anyways, this is a low value, which means that we've got uh, probably some areas that we can improve. So I will kind of take some things apart and see what I can learn. All right, so I disconnected um, the front battery pack totally. Again, I'm just gonna start small. So with just this one module, um, I've got the positive and negative con uh, connected. And right here I've got 2.2 giga ohms. So that's what I'm talking about. So let me go ahead and do the positive. And again, if this one's good, um, maybe I'll do uh, this one, kind of get those two, make sure those are good, and then work on the front. Okay, so we've got both positive and negative at 2.2 giga ohms. I thought I would try an experiment, so I just took my cooling plate there, and kind of just leaned it up so it's touching both the frame as well as the uh, battery mod module cooling elements there. And what I've learned is that when I go to do the isolation test, it won't even read. It'll start kind of crackling, and uh, I think it means I've got a loss of isolation. So I don't know if you can, can you hear that? I'll do it one more time. So you can kind of hear, just hear some pops. And basically over here, rather than getting like your, I think previously I had two giga ohms resistance, and now it, it won't even test because we're so low. So I do believe that that's the cause, but um, can't be so sure. So I'm gonna go, again, this front battery pack. Um, it's, it's uh, I think it's better than the rear one. So the rear one I had lots of metal. Um, this one's kind of all enclosed by plastic but uh, it, it still, I don't think, is quite to the level where I want it to be. So I'll go ahead and disassemble and keep testing so I can get uh, some really high resistance values um, to the point where I'm happy. All right, so I've disconnected just one, so that's battery module four. So I still have the three up front here and did another isolation test and we're still not over a million ohms. So I think, uh, again, it went from like 0.5 to 0.8. Um, so it's improving, but again, I'm thinking it's just each battery module's got just a little bit of issue um, because of what we've seen. So um, I've got my radiator kind of just on some uh, ice cream buckets, but I think I'll probably need to take it off. So I need to probably drain some coolant and so just so I have some better access to these front battery modules and then uh, keep going. Okay, so I drained uh, a lot of coolant. I'm sure somehow more can come out, but I got the radiator out of the way. So that'll give me a little more access to the battery here. All right, so I got into the battery pack here, and uh, so it's module module one, two, and three. And up front, I thought I was pretty isolated, but it turns out, so my cooling plates that are kind of in between here, they touch the frame right there. So I believe that's what's going on. Um, I could probably just test just this top one, see if it's, I think it's a little more isolated. But uh, anyways, these three have got to kind of come out and we got to do some things there. So I think I just got to take everything out. Okay, all the battery modules are out, the entire car, front and back. 
Um, got all these uh, cooling plates cleaned up. Um, I gotta go clean up the battery modules and then I gotta apply the thermal pads, um, put things back in. Um, the thermal pads I think are due tomorrow. So I'm actually wondering if maybe I should look at uh, replacing coolant lines. These are kind of the old ones, the yellow, and I replaced in the back with the blue, which is kind of abraded and more, anyways, way better. So I don't know, I'll look at that. It might be more than I wanna do. I got the thermal pads. So they've got uh, kind of film on both sides. They're a little bit tacky on both sides. I think one side might be a little more tacky than the other, um, but it's not like sticky, like that would leave a residue. Um, it does kind of have a unique, I don't know, when you feel it, it just, you do feel like, okay, it kind of like when you feel, I'll just say like aluminum versus um, cardboard, you, know, you can kind of feel like it feels cool to the touch, even though they're the same temperature, you can feel that one kind of wicks away the heat. Uh, so this one has that kind of same sort of feeling too. I don't know quite how to describe it, but I'll go ahead and uh, cut these and apply them to the battery modules and start putting them in place. That is one of the battery modules kind of virgin. And then here is one with one of the thermal pads. So I think I'm gonna start here at the back and uh, put them in and test for the in, or isolation and kind of just keep loading them up and hopefully I'll get the whole pack loaded. Um, get all these thermal pads on and hopefully I'll have good isolation. Okay, so I've got the uh, back four modules in and uh, doing the isolation test and we're kind of one point something giga ohm. So again, I think we're still looking really good. Um, I'll try again to the positive, just make sure there's nothing else going on. But uh, so far, so good. All right, I got my first uh, electrical high voltage shock. Um, today it's like 103, 104 degrees. I had gloves on and and my hands are just dripping wet. So um, anyways, kind of got an electrical path just through all the uh, moisture and my forearm was touching something. So got a little zap. All right, so I've also got the uh, battery modules secured to the cooling plate. So still checked, we're still good. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kind of put that back up and kind of start putting the battery tray on some other things for the uh, other two battery modules of this last pack, of pack two. All right, I got the uh, rear battery pack all back together. Um, test the uh, isolation and uh, we're still in a good range. So I'm gonna move on to the front. Okay, I thought with the uh, battery pack all wired up, um, even though the impedance looked good um, or the isolation looked good, I wanted to make sure we didn't get any glitching. So just tried it out, we're in drive, no glitching. Uh, today is 107 and this is kind of what I'm talking about like it's all just wet and I know this is gonna be gross but like it's just like glistening juiciness 
So, all right. So I got uh, these two battery modules in. I got the cooling plates on, uh, everything attached. So this one, I'm going a little bit backwards. I'm starting with six, five, then I'll do the front. But so far, so good. Okay, so I thought we were done. I was really excited. However, um, I did the uh, isolation test again and it was low. Um, it was good when I first put this one in. Um, when I plugged all these other ones in, um, it was low. So I'll probably have to take apart some things and figure out where it's coming from. Okay, so the fix is I forgot to put the thermal pad on this top plate here. Um, it's interesting because b besides this just giving the uh, lower value, I could actually hear kind of this sparking, crackling sound. So again, when this applies, it's um, what it does is it applies like a thousand volts to kind of see if it can kind of, anyways, to measure the resistance. And so you could actually hear where the problem was as well as, you know, when I did this. We're now up to... Is that 1.2 giga ohms? So when I first started, we were like at point something mega ohms. So we've kind of got like, I'll call it a thousand percent improvement. So in theory, knock on wood, I never want to claim this is done, but man, this has been a long journey. So uh, I'm going to button everything up, um, get both packs connected, get everything kind of back, do one more test, make sure we're good, and then, uh, you know, confirm the controller is good and I just want to put everything back together and go out for a ride all right so uh, the camera overheated so I didn't get the uh, time lapse but yeah I got the battery box put back together I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, radiator back connect all the hoses um, I think I gotta do some things back in my uh, high voltage box make sure everything's connected so a couple more things and then uh, do some last tests Maybe put some wheels on, things like that. All right, so I did end up replacing the coolant hoses. Um, I also added here, um, we'll call it like a drain port. So there's been several times where I've needed a drain. I just kind of have to like undo some hoses and have a bucket or something underneath. So this one works well. I've also got this uh, end piece that works. It's kind of got a valve. And so you put this guy in and that opens up to full flow. So that'll be handy. And then uh, this is kind of more of like a a fill spot but again the main fill spots over here this is more like a, a high spot so if I need to bleed out any air or anything so I've also got coming um, a vacuum I'll call it a vacuum assist for um, filling the coolant so I've had I don't want to call it struggles in the back you can probably even see there's you know there's there's coolant there but then there's a air pocket and other things so I've just got lots of places where it you know got ups and downs and so the air has a hard time getting out so hopefully that system will help me okay moment of truth so I've got both battery packs connected um, high voltage is on everything's kind of back the way it was we're gonna see if we get glitching again if we do I think I might just cry so I'm really really hoping everything's good again meter says I think we're pretty good so let's see how we do Well, so far so good. Again, no glitching here. Um, I'll keep it going for a couple minutes, but I think the true test is to give it a drive. So I got to put the front back on, got to put the wheels on, I got to get a couple things going. So let's see if we can do it. So I thought I was done. I uh, checked the BMS and four, four of the cells in pack one, battery module four, the last four cells are kind of not reading as expected. So um, I'm going to dig into my BMS, uh, test, 
test them that way and I might need to get back into the yeah I might need to get back into the module here as well okay so I seem to be having a problem uh, with BMS it's showing that cells 61 62 63 and 64 are kind of like weird like really low or really high um, so they, I've got this board and I'll, I'll go ahead and show you but when I test it they all show like 3.8 3.9 uh, volts 3.84, 3.85, 3.9, So you can see they all show a pretty decent voltage, but um, when I plug it in to the BMS, it doesn't, so. Okay, so this is what I get, 61, 62, 63, and 64. Um, and so that's what I'm confused about because it's that's, an LTC6 and that's I unplugged LTC LTC6 and all the voltages showed good so I'm thinking it might be that uh, satellite okay so for the BMS units here um, I was reading cells 61 through 64 that are not good and that's in uh, they call it LTC6 so essentially my sixth uh, over there and I pull it out and they've got this little circuit board thing that you can kind of read the cells individually. So my battery modules themselves are reading good, meaning the wires, everything up to the LTC is reading good. It's just um, not good. And to confirm that further, I kind of swapped BMS units. Um, they're just satellites, and so the problem followed the BMS unit, um, not the wiring. So my battery modules are good, my wiring's good. I just have a bad part of my battery management system. So I'll see I'll see what we can do. In the meantime, I'll probably just turn off that uh, battery management system for pack one. Alright, so we had our first drive back. It was pretty good because things worked, but uh, some things didn't. I think it might be a 12 volt thing. Um, anyway, the 12 volt system kicked off. So I'm, I'm kind of just stranded here. So uh, we'll see if I can get it back on or if I have to push it home. We're not very far. We're back up and running. Um, I believe I just, again, when I took out the relay for the pump and put things back in, I think I might have just not carefully put things away. Uh, maybe wires were touching, I don't know. So I kind of messed around there, put things back, and now things are working. So uh, I'm gonna put away for now. Uh, I think that's where we'll leave it for this week. We are back in the garage now. The, as I mentioned, I think that uh, when I was replacing the relay, I just wasn't careful in tucking wires away and things. I've got uh, an automatic, I wanna call it like a circuit breaker. And um, so I think that just popped and which made things we couldn't turn on, 12 volt system was off. I kind of wish it was a manual reset. This is like an auto reset, so you just kind of have to wait. Um, but then we finally were able to get it back on. So anyway, it, it makes me just a little bit worried. I'll, I'll kind of check through things again. But uh, we were able to take it for a ride. I don't think there's any uh, high voltage problems. Okay, so that was a roller coaster week. We got, uh, basically took a lot of the car apart. Did a lot of troubleshooting, then put it all back together. Went out for a ride, so that's kind of the main the main thing. Um, as always, we're gonna have some some things to figure out, some things to fix. Okay, this is gonna be the uh, last chance to get uh, some merchandise. So for the shirts and things, I'm actually gonna drop the price as, as low as it'll let me, and so hopefully uh, 
you guys will get, I'll call this the Founder Series. You'll get the original shirts. Um, after uh, a week or so, we'll take this one off and it'll be a while before we get out some new merchandise. So get your shirt now. Okay, that does it for this week. See you next week.